<laughs> My new phone. <laughs> The Galaxy Note 5 comes in a box. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It has 4 GLT capable check, 64 octa-core processor, Exynos 7420, the same one found on the Galaxy S6, check. 4 gigs of RAM, that's an upgrade from 3 gigs to 4 gigs from the S6. 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen. Uh, this is also an upgraded screen just like the Galaxy S6. It is actually better than the Note 4. All right, 16 megapixel rear facing camera with OIS, 5 megapixel front facing camera just like the Galaxy S6. Wireless charging, that is new. I actually like that. Uh, Nox, we don't like that. 32 gigs of memory, that's your internal storage. You can also get with 64 gigs of memory or 128 gigs of memory for some models. Samsung Pay, Android operating system. All right, looking at the side, it's an SMN920T. This is a T-Mobile model uh, made in Vietnam. You got any pho foo? Sorry, I like eating pho. I ordered the number one at my local pho noodle place. All right, let's cut the crap and actually unbox this bad boy. And inside the box is another box. And make sure you have this labels. If you don't have it, it may be open before. Oh, that was a great unboxing. Okay, here is the Note 5. Yes, let me go ahead and take the phone out first. And here is the Note 5, folks. Let's go ahead and undo the dress real quick. Let's go ahead and push it out. And boom, shakalaka. Wait, where's my remote battery and micro SD? Spank it for being a bad girl. Bad girl, Samsung, bad. You like it rough, huh? Actually, if you like spanking it, the new glass back may help. It's perfect for spanking. All that smooth lines, it's perfect for spanking. All right, let's actually take a look at what's in the box real quick. We've got a SIM card, uh, start manual, uh, more crap, a SIM ejaculator tool. All right, we'll need that. Uh, we've got an adapter. That's rated 9 volts, 1.67 amps for quick charge 2.0, and also 5 volts, 2 amps for regular charging. All right, we'll need that. And also USB cable, also S Pen tip replacer. And also we got the Samsung earbuds here. Let's take a quick look at the earbuds. I actually don't like these new type of earbuds. They actually look like Apple iPhone earbuds. I like the old style because you get better bass, but whatever. So we'll put that aside. Okay, that's pretty much it. All right, back to the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Let me go ahead and power it on. And let me give you a quick close up while it's powering on. And that is the logo. All right, it booted up pretty quickly. Less than five seconds, that's good. Uh, you got the front facing five megapixel camera, a bunch of sensors, the earpiece there. And also you've got the home button, recent button, back button. On the left, you got volume buttons. And also on the right, you've got the power button. And also on the back, you've got the 16 megapixel camera, just like the Galaxy S6. And that's pretty much it. You got the nice curved glass back and the front looks very nice. Let's actually do a quick field test. All right, I got the Galaxy Note 4 for testing. I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes and tell you how I feel. All right, it is very curved, easy to hold. It's actually a much different feel than the Galaxy S6, I think. With the older Note 4, you get this nice rectangular feel. There's a slight curve on the back. With the new Note 5, you get more curves, a glassy feel, and slightly edgier. But it feels actually pretty good. It feels a lot smaller. It feels almost like half an inch smaller. That could be due to the a more curved back. Uh, but it feels actually pretty good. Wow, this looks exactly like my Galaxy S6, but backwards and bigger. Let me actually do a quick field test with the S6 Edge. Note 5, S6 Edge. Yeah, it feels like a bigger S6 Edge backwards. All right, let's do a quick field test with the S6 because it's a flat back. Note 5, S6. Oh yeah, that is way easier to hold. The curves make it so much easier to hold because you got those curves where my hands go there uh, versus the S6, your hands kind of laying, especially your index finger and all these fingers, especially where your hand is diagonally placed. Um, it feels a lot better with the Note 5. So for the feel, I actually really like the Note 5 feel. Compared to the Note 4, 
it definitely feels more premium. Of course, it's gonna be prone to break, so make sure you use a case for this. All right, let's take a quick look at the bottom here. I actually really love the bottom speaker placement. My Note 4 was a sort of a drag when I put it in my pocket. Uh, I like having it on the bottom, that way you can have the music flowing out of your pocket. All right, you got the new S Pen that's supposed to click, and then you can pull it out. And you can see it's made in China. The S Pen is made in China. The phone itself is made in Vietnam. Get some fo foo. All right, nice and clicky. This sort of give you that 70s or 80s ball pen feel. And I've already been hearing people putting this in backwards. Let's actually try it real quick. I don't want to go all the way. Oh shit. Oh God. It got stuck. Oh no. Are you serious? Are you serious? I barely tapped it in there and it's stuck. This sucks. I haven't even tried the phone. This sucks. It won't come out. That really sucks. What the fudge? Okay, I, I think they should have made this so it doesn't fit backwards, but my phone, my pen is stuck. Anyway, it looks pretty good other than the stuck S pen. I'm gonna go play with it for a few days and uh, I'm gonna probably have to disassemble this right away. I'll have a video on that also. <laughs> my new phone! <laughs> my new phone! <laughs> Okay guys, I didn't mean to do that. I just stuck it in there. I thought it would actually hit something and then it just got stuck. So don't try this at home, but I'll have a disassembly video for those of you who did this, but it, it's stuck and I don't want to force it out. That's going to break all this other stuff. I'll have an update in a few days, uh, but in the meanwhile, don't forget to enter our big Android giveaway contest. We're giving you a ton of prizes and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this unboxing, my S Pen getting stuck, don't forget to hit that like button, a subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, Instagram, and I'll see you guys soon. As always, a stay <laughs> on Android. <laughs>